Hi, I'm Richard Crossley, author of the Crossley ID Guide. I love birding in the outdoors, probably just like you. I do most of my birding in the back garden, looking at birds in the trees, feeders, trips, and other things that my wife and I have done to attract birds. In this environment, you can really get to know birds, the way they move, what they do, and their personalities. Sometimes, you might want to work out what this species is, what's its age, or what sex it is. There are always questions that need answers. The Crossley ID Guide was designed for beginners and intermediate birders, with all these questions in mind. Unlike other books, it is designed to be lifelike, with habitat, behaviour, and lots of examples. This design allows you to practice looking at birds near and far from all angles in their beautiful surroundings, just as in life. Although you may not have seen images in books like this before, yes, we can thank modern technology for this change, the basis of this book works out how the brain learns best, the same way we learn at school, and yes, kids love it. The book starts with all the different families on a double page spread. It goes to 14 pages of all the regularly occurring species so that you can quickly narrow down your search. It's like a small book within a bigger book. The introduction, in no nonsense English, gives you all the information you need to learn birds like the experts do. There's also a section describing how to use the book. And of course, there are the plates and text. The text is short but thorough and very readable. So for example, Carolina Wren, I've put, it's amazing how something so small can make so much noise. You are sure to have heard it. A large repertoire of songs, calls and skulls. Chiri chiri chiri, perhaps the best known. If you are not sure of its sound, it's probably this species. It skulks around. On or near the ground, tail nearly always cocked, held straight when singing. Climbs trees, nut acts like, often hanging upside down and entering holes. Inquisitive, it goes to odd places, garages, through open windows, under the car, in plant pots, and just about any nook or cranny it can get into. Perhaps you have found one stuck somewhere. There's also more text on ID features. Next to the text is a map for distribution, so you know where the bird occurs. The plates are made up of lots of images to create one scene. Hopefully you will enjoy their beauty, just like the outdoors. There are many clues when identifying birds. This book captures all the main ones. Where a bird lives, the habitat it is in, and how it behaves is so important in helping to identify birds. These pages show this information unlike any other book. It has more plumages and more examples than you've ever seen before. Repetition, or you might have heard the saying, practice makes perfect, is the best way to learn. And of course I've done some naughty things, like hiding birds in the background so you can have fun finding them, just like in real life. Of course, we all love the outdoors and scenic backgrounds. Maybe you'll recognise some of these. The design of this book is proven to be the best way to learn how to identify birds for beginners and intermediate birders. It's like a halfway house between the old school field guides and the real thing, birding outdoors. But you know, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's about enjoying the beauty of nature. Me, you, and the great Wild Birds Unlimited franchise are all in the same boat. So have a look at the book, think of it for yourself or as a gift for a loved one. Enjoy it and support your local Wild Birds Unlimited store.